Hey guys, it's Interference here, and I'm back with more of The Walking Dead, and we left off, um, at Herschel's farm, I think we're about to drive to Macon with Kenny, so, yeah, like, it's, it's been a couple weeks since I played this game, so I don't remember everything, but, yeah, we're just continuing off. So I hope you guys have been enjoying the series. Because so far, even though I was like only on the first episode, I've been enjoying it. All right, let's continue. to make it. Well, this is as far as we're going. Yep. And it's far enough. Careful, duck. Hey there, you friendly? Um, trucks run out of I, gas. I don't, I don't think. Oh, yeah, definitely. I was right. That's Fuck. definitely a zombie. Okay. Nope. Get out of there right now. Run. Why are you walking? <laughs> Run. No. Careful. Duck. Whoa. crazy we can't take risks like this and we can't just let people die either when I say that door stays shut no matter what I fucking mean it we don't know who these people are They're I don't know who dangerous. you are peener worse they could have let them right to us where the hell is your humanity we're not dangerous just regular folks what's dangerous a bunch of people running outside and drawing their attention to us. Oh. He's right. We're just we didn't even folks. see them. He actually like helping people. You'll have to excuse her. The hell he or anyone will. This calm, is about survival. Calm yourself. Do you guys not see what's happening? Um, I do, actually. What is it? I I have to pee. <laughs> I not right now. In a second. I bet you would. You're a dumb, careless kid. Then just go. Oh, you didn't have to They've say it like kids, that. Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join him then. <laughs> something in common. First God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Yes. Let's settle down. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. Uh, he wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. All right. We have to end this now. Frick. Over my dead Old body, man, Peter. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, Can you not be a? What do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. We reason with him. Bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Exactly. Everyone, chill the fuck out. Nobody is doing we ain't touching dark. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. 
But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten. That's how you turn. He's not Correct, bitten. Correct, but he's not Please bitten. Stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, you get it. It's a big deal. D it's Larry, right? Man, this is his son. Look around, dumbass. I got a daughter in here. You got yeah, a daughter. And what in if here. it was her? Get your head out of your ass, boy. We've all got people in here. We can figure this out without killing anybody. There's another way. Yeah, with a shovel. Oh I'm gonna kill him, cat. Do it then. Just worry about duck. Lee. Yeah. There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. I think daughter. this might no, be Lee's drugstore. You just for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bike. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. <sighs> then, when she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. Then we deal with it then. But exactly. right now, we're just freaking everybody out. Then get ready to deal with it, because that boy is bit. not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now. Oh my god. No! You don't touch that boy! <clears throat> you don't touch anybody! I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here too. You wanna get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a bloody jail because it's me before anyone else in here! <laughs> huh? <laughs> come and talk! Get your butt out of there! Forgot about your leg. Thank you. You okay? Yeah. Great, thanks. <sighs> that was amazing. Guys, everybody down. Stay quiet. Shh. They're gonna get in. Shut up. Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was uh, stupid. We that almost died because of you. Uh, oh, oh, and you're dying. Good job. Look what you did. What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. <sighs> Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. We'll get in there somehow. Thank you so much. <laughs> we you should be thankful. Pills. Please get in there. I'll keep Dude's an eye on a my douche. Dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. True. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. All right. Damn, that'd be great. Well, it's got to get done. Plus, I'm True. quick, and I know make it. Local? Born and raised. If you're going to do that, Same. here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you, what's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. All right. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. All right. And I'm Carly. Okay, Thanks, Carly. Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. Same. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. 
Alright, I'ma do this. I'ma get this douche some pills. Alright, I don't know what I I think I took like a Toblerone or something. Right, let's let's talk to Carly. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. Oh dang. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I oh. can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. <laughs> I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but you know. Yeah. Yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps or, or ghouls or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. Exactly. He's kind of cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. Uh, <laughs> what? Alright. <laughs> How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work though. Here, let me have a look. Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> Just in case. Alright. Battery door. And there's no batteries. There's no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. <laughs> Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. <laughs> it's all good. That, that happens to me sometimes. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate up there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh. Huh. Mm, no, no. Not right now. All right. Let me know if you want to. All right. I will. I gotta find some batteries first. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. <laughs> we can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Ooh, battery. All right, there's nothing over here. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. Hey, Lee. What's really that? gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, Same. we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. It's all good. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kid. How's she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's yep. just a little girl, Ken. Were you saying, Lee, she spent days surviving on her own? That's yep. right. Not just any little girl can do that. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. Mm -hmm. You said your family was from here in Macon? Yep. That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? Um, I, I don't know. They, uh, own this place. They're gone. Oh, sweet. Cat. <sighs> they were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they did. Lee, you got a second? What? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. I panicked, you know. I'm not proud of it. It happens. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. Yeah, that's rough. I killed that boy. We could have saved him together. You didn't have a choice. You think you do when you look back on it. 
but in a moment when things are really out of control you don't have any choice exactly I guess try to let it go Let's take another bar. Okay. First first priority look for batteries. Energy bar. this it's not damaged Glad this place didn't get looted yup looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down mm-hmm so like um I this found battery a singular the battery great thanks Still hey, having trouble. Oh, I better I get back to it. Yep. I forgot. Oh, I can't find another battery. All right, let's talk to Clementine. Hey there. Hi. Can I uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll hmm. see about that. I got some energy bars if you want it. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. <laughs> yeah, I, I think so. Uh, being good is good. Despite the circumstances. Yep. <laughs> so awkward. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. Well, sit tight. Okay. <laughs> Alright, you said you were a little hungry? It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. I took care of Clementine. Yeah. Is there batteries back here? I'm not talking to you yet. I gotta find batteries. Try to get some rest, hon. How can I with those things out there? With, with your eyeballs going to sleep. I don't remember them very well. Ah, that's okay. Okay. Where could this battery be? I literally can't find it anywhere. Battery, battery, battery. Maybe it's over by Clementine. Huh? Yes. Okay, I had to do a full circle, but I got it. And here's another one. Yes. Should be able to get it to work now. Yeah. Did 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 you get it? Did you get it to hey work? There. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. Uh, let's, let's... 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 Let's turn this thing. Alright, you don't got the antenna thing out, so... Hmm. Are they in the right way? Let's try this. Turn the power on. Yes! You fixed it! <clears throat> Professional fixer.
frequencies you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full... Uh, uh, my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. <laughs> Oh, God. That's not good. That radio sign off didn't sound too good. No, it didn't. Are you okay? I'm fine. Are you sure? You don't have to be. It's traumatic. I'm sure some people got out. Maybe they're all being rescued. Maybe. Maybe not. It's all good, Carly. Let's talk How to we doing? Doug. Good. Wanna go have a look around outside? I do. Let's, Let's have a look, have a look around. around. Okay. Back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Definitely. I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Yup. <laughs> too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. Would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Atlanta's in rough shape, and that's all I know. Store employee. So you're uh, saying he might have the pharmacy keys? I'm saying he might have the pharmacy keys. I'm saying that's Lee's know. brother. Could be anybody, you know. And they start rotting and get all cheat up. And... Uh, Shut up, Doug. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. Yes, it would. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. I, 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 I know that he worked here because freaking Lee is brother. <sighs> did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. <laughs> it's not good. Let's try to unlock this. It's a combination lock. True. And I don't know the combination. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. <sighs> All right. Well, like, um, I don't know what to do now. So let's let's go back inside. Actually, let's. Let's talk to him first. How'd you end up here? I moved here to live with my uncle. He just texted up and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time. On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. Ah. What about you? I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so yep. you probably knew the owners then? Yep. Yeah, I did. Good people. <sighs> All right. Uh, let's let's, let's go back, head inside. back inside. Okay. All right. 
I'll just go back inside. I don't feel comfortable out here. <sighs> Creepy. Alright, well, um, that's where I'm gonna leave this episode. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you wanna see more, then just leave a like. And I'll continue this series because this could be a really ongoing series if you guys enjoy it. Because there's a lot of content to play. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Interference. Out.